Okay, uh, we've been discussing synthetic division and have been using it to factor out uh, various polynomials of various complexities. And here we want to apply it to a problem from Riley's book, uh, Mathematical Methods for Physics and Engineering. It's a typical textbook or a standard textbook for many mathematical physics and uh, mathematical engineering courses. And the problem that they present is this one. We have this determinant here, and we want to know what values of lambda will make this determinant equal to zero. So it means that you're stuck. You have to kind of multiply the whole thing out, expand it out. And then once that's done, multiply these here and then collect terms, and eventually what you get is this, this cubic polynomial. Lambda cubed plus lambda squared minus 24 lambda plus 36 equals zero. And so we want to ask ourselves, what values of lambda makes this zero? In other words, what are the roots of this cubic polynomial? And best way to determine that is see if we can express this in terms of its prime factors. So we write down our coefficients. We have 1, 1, minus 24, and plus 36. And let's see, uh, would lambda minus 1 Will that be a factor? So then we write down here the opposite of that, plus 1. We write that down here. And then we add and multiply. This is 2 times 1 is 2. So this is minus 22 times plus 1 minus 22, that does not add up to 0, so we discard that. What about lambda plus 1? Now we write down minus 1 here, and write it here. Add and multiply, 0, this will be 0. This will be minus 24 times minus 1 is plus 24. That does not add up to 0, so we discard that. What about lambda plus 2? So here we write down minus 2. Here we write down minus 2, and add and multiply, this would be minus 1, times negative 2 is plus 2, this is minus 22, times minus 2 is plus 44, that's not 0, so we discard that. How about lambda minus 2? Lambda minus 2, we'll try that out, so we write plus 2 here. And down here we write plus 2. Add and multiply, this is 3 times 2 is plus 6. This would be minus 18 times plus 2 is minus 36. Add these up, you get 0, so this is a factor. So we can say that this is equal to lambda minus 2 times what? Now we bring down the 1. And this was a coefficient on lambda to the third power. So now this is going to be a coefficient of lambda squared. That's a coefficient of lambda. And there's our new constant. 
So this is going to equal lambda minus 2. Let's write it down here over here. I have more room. Uh, let's see. Lambda cubed plus lambda squared minus 24 lambda plus 36 equals lambda minus 2 times 1 times lambda squared plus 3 times lambda minus 18. Okay. Uh, and this here, can we factor this out now? Without having to use synthetic division, that is. Um, let's see. We have to have two numbers multiplied together. This is minus 18. And add it together gives us plus 3. Uh, 9 times 2 won't do it. Um, 6 and 3. Let's see if we had lambda plus 6. Lambda minus 3. That would give us the minus 18 and the plus 3. So there it is. Um, these would be the prime factors of this polynomial. And we wanted to know what values of lambda make this zero? In other words, what are the roots of this polynomial? So, of course, now that we know it's prime factors, we can just look at them and read them off. Lambda equals 2. Lambda equals 3. And lambda equals minus 6. So, we started off with this determinant here, and we had to expand it out. There's no way of getting around that. And then you've got to multiply it carefully, collect all the terms. But once we got to this stage, then we could sort of paint the problem by applying synthetic division and expressing this in terms of its prime factors. And then we could easily determine what values of lambda will make this determinant zero. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Come back and join us for some more videos and we'll try and solve some more problems.